All right, get ready to rumble. It's the new segment, round three. Three topics, three times around the horn. First up, round one, actor Morgan Freeman made some surprising remarks about income inequality, saying it has nothing to do with race. The Oscar winner cites himself as living proof. Watch. Do you think that race plays a part in wealth dis distribution or either a mindset that you can't Today? or cannot? Yeah. No. You don't? No, I don't. I know. Hey, you and I, we're proof. Why would race have anything to do with it? Stick your, put your mind to what you want to do and go for that. Uh, it's kind of like religion to me. It's a good excuse for not getting there. So, Jimmy Morgan Freeman, right or wrong here? I agree with him to some extent because this is a great message to sell, send to young black people that it does not matter. Now, Morgan Freeman also thinks that the human race is a parasite, so... There you go. All right, John, what about it? Uh, income inequality isn't really about race. It's, it's about incomes, right? Well, who talks about race, Eric? Racists. They're the ones who are always talking about race. Income inequality, inequality in general, isn't a problem. It's simply a metaphysical fact. What we should be focusing on is equality under the law, not that everyone should have the same amount of money in their bank account. Right. It, it, when a lot of people, and I re re ascribe to this, where the theory of uh, a rising tide floats all boats, which means even if incomes are becoming less equal, as long as they're all going up, that's a good thing. Well, I think it is a good thing, and I'll tell you something else. Morgan Freeman is exactly right. The president of the United States is a great example of this. I mean, here is a guy, boy, I wish I had his income and could take his golf, uh, you know, vacations. Uh, he's a, he's a, 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 a man of color, and he's done very well. Michelle, your thoughts on income inequality? Morgan Freeman really saying race has nothing to do with it. That, that, that's, that's refreshing. Well, yeah, this country is about equal opportunity. It's not about equal outcome. And you can achieve whatever you want despite the color of your skin or your gender. So people stop need, need to stop using their minority status as a crutch or an excuse. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. Round two, the Jetsons going from cartoon to reality. Tech firm Terrafusia plans to have the first flying cars ready in two years. The car fits in a garage. You fill it up at the gas station, hit the runway, and take off. Truly amazing. We're rolling some video, but Michelle, how long before the government starts putting rules and regulations on this idea? Oh, immediately. They're probably already thinking about it. But I actually don't like this idea. Just think about some woman in her SUV flying, putting on makeup, texting, and getting in a car accident <laughs> it, with an SUV up in the sky above a city. People can't even drive properly on the road. I don't want people up above me. Michelle makes a good point, John. Your thoughts? Uh, but you're okay with <laughs> a said, little bit of that. rules, they right? Go ahead. They said that when motorized cars came in and, and replaced uh, a horse and buggy, they said there are going to be so many accidents. Eric, I'm in awe. I mean, only only in America can, with private capital, these type of miracles be created seemingly almost on a daily basis. Where, I mean, could any jihadist come up with this? No, only in America, only in this great country can miracles be made on earth literally almost every day. Wayne, you going to get in the car, in the uh, airplane, in your garage, pull out and then take off? Does that sound good to you? No, no, Eric, it doesn't. And I love Jonathan's comparison to jihadis. The next thing you know, we're going to have flying carpets, and they're going to cost they, like they the F-35. Lockheed Martin is going to make them and be nine years behind and eight zillion dollars over budget. All right, uh, Jabu, <laughs> I, I, I can't tell you how many times I'm stuck behind someone, uh, most likely a lady who's putting makeup on, and I'm going, oh, my gosh, can I imagine in the air next to her? <laughs> well, that's sexist. As far as <laughs> flying cars go, finally, I have been waiting for this. Innovation is great. But yes, the American people would like the government to step in that's and regulate it at some point. <laughs> that's how this works. Round three is global warming causing more couples to cheat. A dating website putting out a study showing folks are more likely to get frisky with others when temperatures rise. So, Wayne, it's getting hot in here. Well, I can tell you something. Al, Al Gore has never met my wife. I, I, I can see me coming home late one night and saying, oh, by the way, guess what? I'm late. Why? Oh, you were out fooling around. Oh, no, the temperature went up. Of course. Sure, I'd get shot in a second. He's uh, nuts. All right. So um, let's go to Michelle. Your thoughts on this study? 
Well, look, ladies, if you are dating a guy who uses global warming as an excuse to cheat on you, you need to dump him. And better yet, if you are dating a guy who believes in global warming, period, you need to dump him. We don't have a global climate crisis in the, this country. We have a moral climate crisis in this country. All right, Jimmy, weigh in on this one. If, you, if your dude's cheating, it's po possibly maybe because it's too warm outside. If you're dating a woman who doesn't believe in science, you should probably dump her as well. But where did you get this information? Victoria Milan, Victoria Milan is a cheating website. People go to it to cheat on their significant others. How did you find this, Eric? How did uh, the your producers, producers find the this? The producers, Why honey, my lovely wife, Victoria I want Milan. you to know, the producers picked the topic. John, we got 25 seconds. Well, yeah, I agree, I agree with you, Millie. This is a very suspect study, but there's no question that global warming and climate change is like the catch-all scape now, go, now for anything. I mean, anything goes wrong in the world. Cheating, whether it's getting hot, whether it's getting cold, storms, anything else, blame global, global warming, which is another way of saying blame <laughs> mankind. Very good. Look at that. We had four seconds left. We're going to say thank you to Michelle Fields and Jamu Green for joining us this week.